In this episode of Dynamic Tech Tips, we're going to talk about integrated conveyor solutions. That is, where we take our normal Dynacon modular conveyor and combine it with other pieces of equipment to create a complete solution. Let's go take a look. The integrated conveyor system we're going to be talking about today consists of two normal Dynacons, but in order to hit the objective of the customer, we had to add three different pieces of equipment. One was the stainless steel water tank. The second was air cannons or uh, air amplifiers. And lastly, we needed to add an accumulation table. This customer was molding very hot parts that were dropping onto the conveyor. and We needed to cool them very quickly so they effectively come up out and drop into the water tank. The water tank quenches them, but they need to be packed out over here. So as they were coming up, we hit them with the air cannons to dry them. And then they accumulate here while a, a person packs out on this side and a person packs out on this side. I want to show you up close a couple of the features of the tank, the air amplifiers and the accumulation table. But again, it took five pieces of equipment to come up with the complete solution. Let's take a look a little closer. Let's talk about the water tank uh, at first. We make our water tanks out of 300 series stainless. We incorporate a cooling coil in the bottom of it. Cold water is put into here. It circulates through a coil in the bottom of the tank and it exits here at a warmer temperature, keeping the water temperature in the tank down. Uh, there is a quarter turn ball valve at the end for drainage. And in addition, on this end of the tank, we have a circulation pump that keeps the water moving over the cooling coil to keep the water temperature down. Some people say, how can you put a conveyor into a water tank? Well, the Dynacon is constructed out of polycarbonate sidewalls, aluminum crossbars, stainless steel drive shaft, and a polypropylene belt. There's nothing in, in, in stainless steel hardware. The Dynacon uh, conveyance system can be put directly into water, obviously less the motor but the, the body of the conveyor itself can go directly into water, making it very easy to use in this situation. After we cool the parts, the parts are conveyed up. And as I mentioned earlier, they have to be dry before they're packed out. So we go over, the parts go under these air cannons, which create a laminar flow that strips the water off of the surface of, of the part. Additionally, for an integrated system, we go to one control box. We have system power, we have conveyor power, which starts both conveyors, and we have a switch for the circulation pump. This all happens in a NEMA 4X box, obviously waterproof. We have our two drivers in here and a breaker. After the parts uh, are dried, or at least the, the water stripped off with the air cannons, they fall onto this accumulation table. As I mentioned earlier, there's a person here to pack out and there's another person over there to pack out. Again, this is a pretty simple little setup, but it, it's a system that just with two conveyors doesn't work. We don't cool, we don't dry, and we don't accumulate. Adding these three other pieces of equipment go from a conveyor to an integrated conveyor system. If you like this video, please feel free to share it. Uh, if you have any more questions about any of this, uh, please call us directly here at Dynamic Conveyor. Thank you.